Hello there. Welcome back to the Silver Howler. How are you all doing? I hope everything's going well. Today, we are going to talk about echidnas. Now, you might be wondering, what is an echidna? Well, I will tell you. The echidna is also known as a spiny anteater, but they are not closely related. They are actually from the monotrium family. They may look very similar to a hedgehog, but they are not related in any sense. The spines that they have are hollow and are barbless. Their quills are barbless. They are also monotremes, as I said earlier, and are closely related to the platypus. Monotreme means an egg-laying mammal. I don't completely understand how eggs and mammal go hand in hand, but that is how it is. They grow between 14 to 30 inches or 35.5 to 76 centimeters. Their spines are about two inches on average or five centimeters. The males have spurs that secrete a liquid that is not poisonous to people, at least according to studies. The liquid is thought to let others know where they are during breeding season for mating. Echidnas and all monotremes are restricted to Australia and New Guinea, and they are the most distributed animal in all of Australia. They like alpine meadows, interior deserts, and coastal forests their dwelling and they are very solitary animals but they aren't territorial they are very willing to share their territory with other echidnas even of the same gender they are diurnal or active in the summer and they torpor or hibernate in the winter their body drops below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter they breathe once every three minutes and they slowly rise their temperature for so that they can go and for waste and to drink water every so often every few weeks they have a super low metabolism while in torpor or hibernation and in the summer their body temperature raises about around 89 degrees fahrenheit or 32 degrees celsius their metabolism is still super slow during the summertime, and because of that, it is believed that they live to about 50 years or so, at least according to the Na National Geographic. No matter what time of year, they can only hit REM sleep around 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius, which is quite interesting. They have no teeth, and they eat ants, termites, beetle larva, and other soil invertebrates, similar to the anteater. And that gives them the name, the spiny anteater. They have large claws to break logs and to eat with their tongue. Their tongue is about seven inches, give or take a little bit. And they breed between July and August. The females lay eggs. The eggs don't really hatch until about 10 days after they are laid and also they are a leathery type shell similar to reptile eggs after they hatch the babies are called puggles kind of funny yeah you know like a pug and beagle mix whatever anyways and the babies suckle for about seven months give or take a few but the babies do not suckle on their mom's nipple instead the mom drips out milk into a puddle and the babies drink that drink from that puddle. It's kind of weird. According to studies, they can live up to about 50 years in captivity and possibly 45 out in the wild, but there is no proof of a lifespan in the wild. They could live a lot longer. Other facts is that the echidnas have extra long claws on their uh, on their second toes so that they can groom their spines. Also, males and females have pouches on their belly, like your marsupials. 
The echidnas feel vibration with their nose and also large strips under their eyes they use for ears and they can hear extremely well. Don't pick them up because they are extremely sharp and prickly and don't drop them if you do pick them up because their nose or mouth area, their beak, will break most likely and that will cause a lot of pain for the echidna. There are also four different types of echidna as far as we know. There's one, the short-beaked echidna, which is all over Australia. There is the eastern long-beaked echidna, the western long-beaked echidna, the Sir David's long-beaked echidna, and that's that. And the, also, the Sir David's long-beaked echidna is named after the British naturalist Sir David Antenboron. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong according to the San Diego Zoo. These are the basic facts about our wonderful friend, the Echidna. I hope you all have liked the video. Please like and subscribe. And also, there is a free giveaway. If you like the video and subscribe, and, and also leave a comment below, you can win the Niffler, a plush toy from Fantastic Beasts, and where to find them. And share it with your friends. I hope everything has gone well. Have a wonderful time, may nature always be on your side, and have a great day!